Okay, so first things first, we've been talking about revolutions and when you feel that your government is not doing everything it can to ensure that you keep your natural rights, natural rights, John Locke, life, liberty, and property. So if you're not securing the bag or having these rights um, maintained by your government, then you should overthrow the government. Um, the American Revolution was successful. Um, they listened to the ideas of the French people and then and they were able to successfully revolt against Great Britain and become an independent country. Now at the time people um, France did ally with the American revolutionaries and their ideas spread to the French people. In France, there was an absolute monarchy. Um, King Louis was in power and under him, there was three estates, three estates, three social classes to be exact. And so we're gonna call them the first estate, the second estate and the third estate. And so on the first estate, you had the clergy. The second estate, you have the nobility. And then the third estate consists of everyone else. So your workers, your common people, and your peasants. The first two estates, they received all the privileges. One and two, uh, we get privileges, the clergy and the nobility. They had a good life. Number uh, three, the third estate, not so good. They were upset. They're going to end up revolting against the monarchy. Yes, yeah, so you guys know that I live off of acronyms. I feel like acronyms are a wonderful tool to help you remember important ideas. And so in order to remember the causes of the French Revolution, I chose to use GOOF. GOOF. G-U-U-F. Now, the G stands for governmental debt. Um, there was a lot of royal spending going on. They, it was very expensive wars. Um, France helped um, with the American Revolution. So they ended up causing them to have a huge debt. So that's the G. The first U is an unfair social division. So the three estates I was talking to you about, the first, second, and third estate, they each had different privileges that were unfair. And the unfortunate thing is they could not move from class to class. Number two, the second U is the unfair taxes. The third estate, they had no voice. They were the largest group of people, but they paid all the taxes. So they're, they're of course, they're unhappy about the situation. And then finally, F is a financial crisis. Um, the price of goods and the cost of living increased. Most notably the um, bread. The bread was very expensive, and that's what they used to, that's what they had to eat. And when they raised the price on, people were starving. And so at this point, they feel or they know that their rights are not being protected. How can we pursue life, liberty, and happiness, or have liberty, or equality, or brotherhood if we cannot even? be in the same tax bracket as everybody else. It's no equality at all because the bottom portion of society, the third estate is paying all of the taxes. Okay, so at the time, Marie Antoinette, you may have watched the movie before, that was King Louis' wife. She was um, a very big spender. She loved to throw parties, she loved fancy dresses, she loved fine dining, and so on and so forth. So while she's enjoying this um, luxurious life, her citizens are starving. They found this very, very unfair. So the third estate will ask for rights. They won't, can't get them, so they decide to declare themselves the National Assembly. And so they write something called the Declaration of the Rights of Man and Citizen. And so they borrowed ideas from Declaration of Independence and other Enlightenment ideas. And they brought them to the king and queen and said, this is what, this is how we're going to run things now. You guys don't have the power anymore. We are declaring ourselves as we have our own governing body. 
You also should know about Maximilien Robespierre. He was one of the revolutionaries in France. And he was a small man, but he led something called the Reign of Terror. Again, remember things are Reign of Terror, Robespierre. So during the Reign of Terror, um, this man killed thousands of people. Anybody they consider enemies of the revolution. Anybody that was against everybody um, in France having equal rights, they were killed using the guillotine. You've all seen movies um, where they would put their head in this little contraption and, and it'd be chopped off. They did this for a long time in France. Even the king was king and queen were beheaded using the guillotine during the reign of terror. Maximilian, Maximilian Robespierre. Okay, so also you need to know about this guy named Napoleon. He um, was a young military leader, very successful guy. Um, he decided that a new government should um, come up and it was called the Directory. So the Directory is five men who were elected and they shared power in France. Napoleon would eventually take control of the Directory and, and declare himself the Emperor um, of France. So under Napoleon, the, uh, France would come to a, be a stable place, um, but he did support religious freedom, equality for all men, and he also promoted education. So he went on a military tour. He was a very successful um, until he did eventually end up defeated at the Battle of Waterloo. Um, and this would bring the French Revolution to a close. While we're talking about it, let's also go ahead and let you know the Haitian Revolution was led by Toussaint Louverture, and it is the only successful slave revolt in history. So this happened against the French colonizers in Haiti. So if you ever wondered why Haitians, you know, they were colonized by France. That's why um, the French language is spoken there. However, they did revolt and um, it was a successful revolt by Toussaint Louis Overture. Now today, I want you to go to Google Classroom and fill in this chart. You need to tell me who was in each estate and what were their privileges, meaning what could they do? What um, privileges did they have? What was good about being in an estate? And then finally the burdens, what was unfair for them? So tell me who made up this group, what privileges they had, and what was unfair for them. And then you have five questions to answer. If we have time, depending on you, you also have to do page 606, 1A, 2B, 2A, and 3. Let me know if you have any questions. This needs to be turned in before you leave class. Thanks.